right, we are back. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, why is this still glowing? Oh. Let's see what Pepper wants. Just because I'm curious. No. Did I not take your request? I thought I grabbed it. Okay. Now I did. <laughs> Oops, wrong place. Hi, Pepper. We saw your request on the notice board. Excellent. You'll be perfect for the job. There's something I want in the Amberwood. Oh, how perfect. That's where we're gonna be anyway. <laughs> Getting it is the first step on my path to total world domination. Uh-huh. I get it myself, but, um, I'm not allowed in the park after what happened last time. You've been banned from a whole park? How do you know we can find this thing in the park? I have my sources. I can't tell you what the thing is, but you'll know when you see it. Oh, and it's in a locked chest. You'll need this key. Oh. Interesting. Um, well, okay, I guess. We'll keep an eye out for this item of ultimate power while we're in the Amber Woods. Thank you. You'll be rewarded handsomely, and I'll be sure to give you special privileges when I rule the world. Great. I need to make sure, yeah, we need to stay on Pepper's good side, because if she conquers the world, um, I really want to be on her good side. <laughs> Alright, where are we here? What's this? Huh, this gate has no lock, but it's still shield shut. It's probably enchanted. That or it's actually just welded shut and we're being pranked. Wow, trying to open strangers' gates now, huh, Mel? I didn't realize you were turning into such a rebel. I mean, aren't you curious about what's behind this? It's not like I see a house back there. I'm sure that we'll find out eventually if it's any relevance to us. That's the spirit. Huh, why are the save points green now? Interesting. Huh? There's somebody up ahead. He looks tough. Let's try talking to him. Hello? Hello there! Wait, what the heck? Is there another ad break? What? Um... Hold on. I don't think it's running. It's not running, is it? <laughs> I don't think it's running. Why does this keep happening? Hold on. Um. Clear. Can't confirm or deny. Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to hope for the best, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll just hope for the best. Oh, it's the Trash King. Oh, sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. Yeah, hey, no need to shout, man. We just want to say hello. Oh my god, he's, he's scaring me. <laughs> Guys, I think this is just a regular bird that now wants to kick our asses. Yeah, it seems that way. Ah. He do be he do be the king though. He's got it on a shirt. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he's wearing a trash bag as a cape. Oh, we got the epic music on. Well, we both gotta kiss each other, that's important. Let's try frost. Ah, 
The feather arrows! Oh, that hurts. Oh my god, it's very bulky. Oh my god, they're healing him! The trash bags are healing him. Oh hey Darius, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome! Guys, please make sure to check out Darius. You're last playing some Chain Echoes. Ooh, that's new. I have not seen that. It's been a while since I've heard about that. <laughs> how are you doing? Um... Hmm. Let's do this, and then... Let's do counterattack stance. The ad for- oh god, did it really do that? Great. I'm really sorry, mine. I didn't realize it ran a double ad. I gotta figure out what's going on. Smearbot did that last time, too, once, and I was- very confused. Oh, good, good. Yeah, that's really weird. Um... Kill these trash bags. Thankfully, they're weak to fire. Kissing all the girls today? Oh, you know it's going good. <laughs> kissing all the girls, meaning kissing my girlfriend constantly, all the time, no matter what. <laughs> she deserves all the kisses. I'm glad we're on the same page about that. That's very important. Let's try Lightning Blade, maybe? Oh, stun. Nice. Oh, there's more trash bags. There we go. Now oh, it's gonna keep healing itself. Trash King doesn't actually know any spells. Trash King did not learn any spells in school, in bird school. <laughs> Let's try this. And another attack boost. There we go, now we're raking in the damage. And let's try frost. An all-out attack! Woo! Get him! Uh oh Player's gonna need a potion after this. Okay, um, I'm gonna need a healer right now, actually.
There we go. Trash King has been defeated. I learned second aid. <laughs> what comes after first aid? Second aid, obviously. Fan the flames. Ooh. When do I learn to shoot fireballs out of my hands? It looks like you're getting close. Oh, goodbye, bird. And don't come back. Yeah, it'll teach a stupid bird to terrorize the wildlife on our island. Well, that's one less threat for the Sapphire Islands to deal with. That only leaves a mysterious video wizard who can manipulate space and time. Point taken. Come on, Mel. The adventure continues. Right. Need some Kool-Aid. True! God, I, heard, I hope that's the next stage is Kool-Aid. Let's see. Restores an even decenter amount of HP. Nice. Oh yeah, can I... Do I need to heal her? Doesn't look like she's still poisoned. That's good. Ooh, another chest. A wallet? Check out how much cash is in it so we can decide whether or not to return it. Claire. I'm just kidding, oh my god. Well, okay, if it somehow belongs to someone mega rich, finders keepers. Mood. Mood. I agree, I agree. <laughs> Fair. Oh my gosh. This is actually Jody's wallet. Oh, it's Jody! <gasps> We're getting closer to finding Jody. Even better. We're definitely hot on her trail. Hey. If Jody's nearby, I know how to get her attention. Oh, woe is me. If only there was a buff tiger girl here to tell me I'm valid. Yep, guess we gotta keep looking. Nice try, Allison. It was a good attempt. Well, Jody just lost two years. <laughs> Hope she didn't need that. That's what she gets, because she didn't come out and tell me I'm valid. How dare she? <laughs> Neglect me in my moment of, moment of highest need. <laughs> ah. What's this big disc on the ground? Looks like an old warp pad to me. If we stand on it, we should transport somewhere. And considering this path is otherwise a dead end, I imagine Jody must have already taken this thing wherever it leads. I wonder where it'll take us. Well, now I'm just curious where this thing might take us. Wherever it takes us, it, we better be ready for anything. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out where it goes. Mel, when you're ready, let's go. Let me save. Saving is important. Um... Here we go! Cha-ching! Hmm. Are we in the desert? We are in the desert. Celestial Wasteland. These are dancing cacti. Hmm. What's off to the side here? Is there anything secret? Nope. Well, this sure is a change of scenery. Yeah, I'll say. Has this place always been like this, or is this more Javis' handiwork? Actually, I've heard stories about a floating island somewhere near the Sapphire Islands. This might be it. You guys seriously haven't heard of this place? Haven't you lived in Greenledge, like, your whole lives? Pretty sure I'd remember if I knew there was a giant desert island in the sky near my hometown, Claire. Ditto. Okay, but we took a medium-range teleporter to get here. We couldn't have gone that far. Then why can't we see the ocean below us? I... don't know. I guess it's another mystery for us to investigate while we look for Jody. Well, I don't see Jody anywhere. Guess she's not here! Let's go back to the Amber Woods. Wasn't that place nice? Okay, I know this is a lot, Mel, but listen. If I was Javis and I wanted to hide from us, then this floating island we didn't even know existed would be a pretty smart place to hide. Don't you think? That's a good point. Okay, let's do this for Jody. 
Just imagining centuries later. People don't understand English and just see war pee pat. All they know is the word war. <laughs> That's it. Must be relevant. The war of the peas. Okay, there's a spike trap there. I don't think we can cross yet. We'll have to come back here with Jody. Jody is famous for throwing people over spike traps. Alright, let's see what we find in the desert. Hmm. Super fighting robot and tumbleweed mage. I like the tumbleweed mage. We got War M, War P, War IO. <laughs> That's true. There's a lot of war, war words. Ah! Claire! Let's do second aid on her. Nice. Oof. Robots should be weak to fire or electricity. It's one of those. Okay, they resist fire. Okay, well, you know, I'm not gonna be right 100% of the time. Um, let's try lightning then. Miss! Toasters don't well work well with water. True, true. I don't have water though, I have ice. Does ice count? I mean, they're burning, so maybe the ice will melt the water. <laughs> That's how it works. Peace out. Okay, it is weak to electricity. <laughs> sailboat? What do you mean sailboat? <laughs> what is a sail? What are you eating a sailboat? <laughs> I haven't heard a real answer to that question today at all. <laughs> you don't know the question, you're too lazy to look it up? Wow. Wow, it's so easy. All you have to do is type exclamation point QOD. And you'll see that it's what food have you never eaten but would really like to try. So easy. She learned magic missile! Hell yeah, now she's Terrence. Sailboat is not a food. Yeah, no doy. Trash King. You guys thought this was a beast folk? This is very clearly just a large bird that loves trash. Come on. It's hard to tell sometimes. I don't know what you think is so super or fighting about these robots, but okay. They scoot around on four stubby legs and try to attack people with ruby spears that extend from their heads. If you're lucky, one might drop an intact spear for you to use. Like most robots in the wasteland, these ones are heat resistant. But ice, water, and electricity will mess with their circuitry. Oh, you're right, mine. Uh, water would work. Man, I went with the one thing that they resist. Tumbleweed mage. What's with you guys finding inanimate objects all the time? Are you just trying to pat out the beast area or something? Hey now, these little guys definitely earned my respect as a fellow spellcaster. Their eye spells and taste in headwear are the real deal. 
You know, maybe they're just trying to cool everyone down. An icy refresher from the desert heat. How thoughtful of them. Oh, now I feel bad for fighting it. I like, I, I just realized they have these little, little red hats on. Let's go with theme song, because I like theme song. Tumbleweeds with Mickey Mouse hats. Yes. <laughs> Is that a Mickey Mouse hat? I thought Mickey Mouse hat would have the ears. Oh god, they're all attacking Claire. Stop attacking Claire, dang it. One second, one second, guys. Very important thing. Uh, hello, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I had a sudden phone call from my security company, but everything's okay. Everything's fine, I think. Um, so we're all good. Where was I? Hey, Madifer. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Don't worry. You're deaf. You're fine. Don't worry about being late. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what? Oh my god, there was so much music. What is happening? Uh... <laughs> I might have panicked a little bit because I just realized uh, my Spotify was uh, playing when it shouldn't have been playing. Um, very sorry about that. I'm a little... I'm a little out of sorts. There was a very sudden phone call I had to answer. <laughs> Um, everything seems to be good now, though. I'm doing good, thank you, Madifer. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm okay, mine. Don't worry. I panicked a little bit when I saw the phone call. I was like, why- why am I being called by the security company? It was just, a uh, my- uh, my sister forgot to turn off the alarm at my parents' house. And I get phone calls from them. So how are you doing, Madifer? Do you have a good weekend? <laughs> Probably wasn't a three-day weekend for you, but figured I'd ask anyway. Reminds you of when you worked at hotels? Do tell. Do we get another edition of the Vino Hotel stories today? <laughs> Doing okay weekend was good? Nice. Glad to hear. Every day is a weekend for you? Technically retired? What? Lucky? I'd wish I could be retired, that I could only focus on streaming. <laughs> streaming and games. Is being retired fun or is it a little like boring? Just curious. Hotels generally have security companies so that if the alarm goes off, they'll call, and if nobody answers them, they call emergency services. You have to give them a passcode and everything to avoid sending people out. Oh yeah, my, my security service is like that too. When I was asking for details, because um, um, they called me and I asked, okay, um, did you see anything on the front door camera? Um, or anything like that. I was verifying to see if like, they contacted my parents already. Um, I had to answer with the passcode, which I thankfully have not forgotten. Thankfully, I remember what the passcode is. Um, and that's how I found out it was my sister. They're like, oh, they look like this. And I was like, yeah, that's my sister. It's fine. I'm already tired. Don't need to be tired again. <laughs> 
mood. <laughs> retired makes you sound old though, even though you're 29. I mean, yeah, it's, I, I'm surprised you're retired. It's surprising. But then again, it might be, it's hard to retire early in, in the United States. There was one time the password was changed you weren't told, uh oh, that must have been an ordeal. I've, I've definitely accidentally activated my alarm once. And if you, so the first time you accidentally trigger your alarm, you don't get fined for it the first time, but it is like, a, it is a mess. But the second time they do fine you. So you have to be very careful. I like the first time it happened, I, my phone was muted or something. I don't remember what happened. I think I was driving and I had my phone muted and they were calling me because it, it was when I left my apartment. I forgot to turn off the alarm and I was just out to do a quick errand. I just went to go pick up groceries, but it was long enough that they actually went by my apartment to see if everything was okay. My parents were so freaked out. I felt so bad about it. So I'm like very careful about like turning off my alarm anytime I like leave or sorry, not when I leave, uh, whenever I come back and then making sure that when I leave, if I had my alarm on because I turn on my alarm when I'm home alone, that I make sure I, you know, turn it off before I leave and then turn it back on. Because if you, if you turn it off and then turn it on, it doesn't trigger it like you're breaking in. Only ca can because you have no dependents and you want a lawsuit? A lawsuit? Bruh. Can I have some lawsuit money? <laughs> I need to get into a lawsuit. You know, and the one that's favorable for me, obviously. Be funny to have a security question like, what is the color of the sky? Just to put mango. <laughs> they're, they're reading this question to you and they're like, who is this person? Why did they pick this? Got hit by a car in college? Wow. Took nine years. Oh my goodness. You know, people joke about that a lot, especially in America. They're like... They're like, should I just jump in front of a car so that my college can get paid for? <laughs> it's a sad reality, but you made it you make it very much a reality with <laughs> very much a reality, it seems. <laughs> Sorry to hear that you got hit by a car though, because oof. I almost got into an accident once. It was totally my fault. I was I was crossing um the street when it was not, when the light was not, you know, green or whatever. I was crossing because I thought there was no traffic. I was like, I kind of just want to go to school. It's raining really heavily. Um, I didn't want to be standing at the curb. I got impatient, so I biked across and all of a sudden this car comes like, I didn't see it. It just suddenly appeared to me because I just was not paying much attention. You know, I had my raincoat on. I just couldn't see much. It was really a bad idea. And it like hit the front wheel of my bike so hard that like my bike bent 90 degrees. I was I was so lucky though, because if I was biking like any faster, it would have hit me. I was so much shocked from that. Well, if they want an injury that changes your whole life, would be stupid. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even like get that guy's information or anything because it was like he one he felt really bad because he he was kind of blaming himself even though it was, it was totally my fault. I was I was so scared, but the messed up thing was I was scared less of dying at first, and I was more scared of like getting into trouble for doing it. Which is part of why I never asked for any information. My dad was so mad. He was like afraid for me, of course, but he was also mad when I told him I didn't like get any information. He was like, this person almost kills you. I'm like, it's my fault. I didn't tell him that. I was I didn't want him to know what I did. I felt so bad. 
The only time you got into an accident, you took out a power pole and got out of the car because you were worried about the car and there was live power lines down. Oh my goodness, Vina. <laughs> you know, that's the thing though, it's like sometimes you're just right after something like that, you're not really thinking straight. So sometimes the first things you're concerned about is like, really should not be a concern. I was like, I felt so bad because one, I like, I got his car damaged. I had, my bike was damaged. My bike had this basket that my dad had like bought the week before and put it on the front of my bike for me. And that was also damaged. I felt so bad. And it was literally like until three hours later that the shock finally wore off. I was like in the middle of band class. I was in band. I was in the middle of band class and I just started crying because the shock finally set it, like kind of settled in that I almost, I could have died. And I was like, I just was just so upset. On the plus side, you can get yourself a Keck and Cool Cane now. Ah, oh, hell yeah. The coolest of canes. Now it's now it's part of your fashion. You should get like a cane that has like like a cool snake head on top of it, and then like in the snake head there's like a sword. <laughs> the secret sword no one expects. Whoa, a malcontent mummy. Very edgy mummy and funky artifact. Legit had a cane with a wolf head for a handle and had a dagger inside. Man, Vino, you're living you're living the dream. Something <laughs> really metaphor's dream right now. Ah. Uh, well, hey, you know, if you ever need a cool one, uh, just steal from Vino. I mean, <clears throat> what? Huh? I didn't say anything. Didn't say anything at all. Break dance? Oh my goodness. She's break dancing. Well, I can also boost attack. Ow. Let's make that a flame blade. I think mummies are weak to flame. Oh, it's a flame and lightning blade. It's a super blade. Nice. Oh, wait, no. No, it's just flame. <laughs> I thought maybe it was both. That would be really crazy. Let's do a mana drain, because why not? I want to see what that's like. Nice. Oh, she was weak to fire. Okay. I wasn't dumb. Let's see what we got in our bestiary. Malcontent mummy. This mummy has a real pain in the ass attitude. Kind of reminds me of someone. Anyway, she can attack with her dagger and also apply burns. But while she can dish it out, she apparently can't take it, as she's weak to fire. Not ice though, as it's the hoodie seems to give her cold resistance. Makes sense. I like how they justify the, the, the resistances and weaknesses here. Wait, where's the other thing? I guess I didn't get the bestiary for that other thing.
Mwah. Oh, she's burning out. She dishes out a sick burn. <laughs> Allison got freaking burned. Mm. Burnt by a tumbleweed. S M H. That's how it goes sometimes. Well, it actually wasn't the tumbleweed, it was the mummy. <laughs> the mummy rapped at me. The mummy roasted me. Or it roasted Allison, technically, not me. I was just a bystander. Bystander. up. There we go. What's down here? I'm curious. Oh, there's more stuff. Ah! That guy came out of nowhere! <laughs> I probably should have went into that one building. Oh well. Let's burn everything, and we'll just do that. Burn, burn, baby, burn! Oh, they're mana draining. Mm, very annoying. Uh-oh. This thing's hurt. Ugh. No, Claire! <laughs> they really do not like Claire. Let's try a magic missile. Bang! Bang! Nice, nice attacks. Wow, we a level up fast. How's Claire doing? Okay, Claire's only one level behind us, that's fine. Let me go up to that building we skipped. Probably something cool in there. It says danger. Danger is always cool. Ah. What? Ah! Super flying robot and tombstone drone. What an interesting robot. It looks like a tombstone so that when he kills you, he can just become your tombstone automatically. That's so convenient. I appreciate that. One, two, three, four. 
I'm glad the Planker theme song gives her star power, because I think that's great. Also drain mana. Wasn't super worth it, but whatever. <laughs> Everyone, attack! Get him! <laughs> Player's attack is just one. Oh. Mine was also one. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't make fun of us for that. There we go. Allison's got this. Is this just a room of danger? What is in here? It's just danger. Monster design. Monsters will attack randomly. Ah, okay. It's I should have checked the sign. I should have read the sign. It literally just says it's just monsters popping in and out. This is why it's important to read, guys. Reading comprehension is an important skill to avoid situations like that. Ah! Oof. Dodged it. It does say- you got me there. It says danger. A car? Hey, Swell! Welcome to the stream! Welcome, welcome! How's my dating going? I, my date game is strong. There are so many kisses going on. You prefer audiobooks? You know what? That's true. This should have had an audiobook version of the sign that said, Hey, this is a monster den. Huh. There's no way this has been here as long as all this rusty junk. It looks brand new. Can I also just take a moment to add it looks sick as hell? I wonder who it belongs to. Well, knowing how much money we make, I'm sure it's not Jody's. Ooh, a spike gauntlet. Let me see. Hmm, this gives a bit more. Yeah, let's go with the uh, fight gauntlet for now. Here's the save point. Look how many kisses we got. 42 kisses. So many kisses. Mumford. I'm assuming that's where all the mummies are. Oh, there's a dude here. Hello. Oh, hey, another beast. Ugh. Now I'd want a dust bowl, yeah? We're trying to find someone, actually. Yeah, you seen our friend Jody? She's big, strong, tall, and, uh, big... She's a tiger and probably wearing armor. Ah, I can work with that. Yeah, I saw someone matching that description heading east from here. Thank you so much, kind stranger. It's Jack. And I'm sure we'll see each other around. Th he's cool. Thanks, Jack. Cool, Jack. Keep out. I'm pretty sure whoever's behind this door doesn't want us poking around. 
A valid theory. Could this be Javis' new stronghold? From what we've seen of his work, this doesn't seem like his style. But maybe that's just what he wants us to think. I don't know. It's hard to say. Let's just focus on looking for Jody for now. I wish I could. I really want to poke around. But Jody should be this way. East is blank. Perfect. I love blank stuff. Ooh, a treasure chest. Dang it. <laughs> Time to play some tunes. Ow. Now I need to heal myself. East, I thought you said weast. Weast for Wham East. <laughs> it's my version of East. Which is the only version that matters. Ow. <laughs> ah. Very c I have I have all my HP. <laughs> it's harder when I'm full HP. <laughs> It's a new thing I wrote in. It is an, it is a random number now, but uh, it goes lower with, with the less HP I have. It was actually 99%. Oh, yeah. No, I you're right. You did fail the 100%. I fixed it. Um, it was doing something crazy with the numbers. Um, I fixed it though. So now it works. <laughs> now it doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> Let's just say I was adding instead of subtracting from the thing. And that's all the difference and that's that's the biggest difference that I could have done. Adding and subtracting are opposites. Did you know that? I didn't, apparently, when I wrote it. No backseat playing means I can't play from the backseat. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I was trying to look for the tag for no backseating. And, like, it kept suggesting things that weren't what I was looking for. Or, like, it was suggesting weird spellings of no backseating, where it was, like, it had no G or it had no I. I was really confused. I was like, did no one spell the tag correctly? It was so weird. I don't know what was going on. It was like no backseat in when there was no G at the end. <laughs> Adding a negative is subtracting a positive. True. Very true, mine. That is very accurate. Yeah, they yeah, they're very weird. <laughs> I, I was just like, you know what? This is the first thing I see that's like at least spelled correctly. <laughs> it would have bothered me if I went with something that didn't have all the letters in it. <laughs> I could have gone for the one with no G. I could have, but I didn't want to. <laughs> it felt outrageous. The Kiss Allison skill is my favorite skill. I use it every start of the battle. 
It's very important to start a battle with that. Right? It's it's so accurate. This is so in character. Okay, now we got some new entries. Tombstone drone. These morbid machines are straightforward in their behavior, but they have the highest defense out of all the regular bots in the desert. Be sure to hit them hard. Flying variants of the basic super fighting robot. Their most noteworthy ability is mana drain, which is the last thing you want to deal with if you're on low MP. Yeah, it's very annoying. I hate it. Do another chest. Magical girls, I have that. Uh, yeah, I will sell it. Thank you. Hmm. What's down here? Oh. Interesting. Okay. There are switches. Ah! Oh my god, nanobots. They're so tiny. Look at all of them. Um... Yeah, let's... Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Mwah! Let's burn all of them. Oh god, these are gonna be annoying attacks. Oh wow, they have like almost no health. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I just need to hit them like once and they're gone. The fire breath thing is perfect for that then. I feel like these are mislabeled. They definitely aren't nano, but they are pretty small. Regardless, their diminutive robots made up for their extremely low HP by traveling in swarms. Just about anything will take them out in a hit, so don't worry about using your strongest attacks. Focus on group attacks instead. Mine, mine has this. <laughs> you're just like Amona. You're like, yeah, they shouldn't be nano. They should be tiny bots. Nah. <laughs> ah! Dang it, it's these guys. I hate these guys. I'm gonna have to actually start with healing because poor, poor Claire is suffering. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I'm getting another phone call again. Um, be right back again, guys. Very sorry about this. I gotta see what's going on.